Why do you think Tony Khan has cooled off FTR and Wardlow? How long no, before he cools off? No, absolutely idea. <laughs> Jamie, well, he, hold on a second. Let's start at the beginning. What do you want Wardlow to do? Vinny, what's your plan? Have good matches against credible opponents where I believe there's a chance one of them may in fact beat him. Okay, with that, Vinny, mm -hmm. if he has credible matches, that's not what Wardlow's all about. Well, well you're, you're, you're literally and... like, do we need a, a male, uh, what's her name? Jade? Well, then, oh. if he if he's not having good matches, uh, if you're not... Because what they're doing now is not working. Listen, I'm not, saying that I, I'm not saying that what they're doing now is great, okay? But I think everybody knew this was going to happen when Wardlow became champion. It's like Wardlow won the belt. What then? You want to push him towards the world championship? Well, he's not going to be in the world title picture. So you can push him towards the world championship and then beat him. But I don't think they want to do that. And so you're in this situation now where you've got a guy that you wanted, like everyone was into him, you gave him the big belt, and then yes, obviously, then what? We all ask the question, then what? And there is not an easy answer, then what? You could have him go out there and, you know, you build up a challenger and he goes 50-50 and ekes out a win. I mean, is that better than what they're doing now? Maybe it is. Yes. I don't know. Yes. Doesn't sound really all that exciting having, for old Having Wardlow. the T TNT champion on TV winning matches should not be a hot take. Well, you're right, but also the chances are that he would just be on TV every week squashing some dude in two minutes, and you'd be sick of it three weeks in. Correct. It's not like you're doing what you'd be doing with Cody. They're to two totally different guys. With Cody, he could face everybody, and three weeks in, they beat him, and then whatever, he goes on, and he wins it back, and then so you don't want to, you don't want to beat Wardlow, ever. He's had one loss, right? How many has he had? Anybody know? And then with FTR, listen, I don't know what's going on with FTR, but there's obviously not any sort of heat. I mean, I'm sure FTR complains all the time, but I'm sure there's no heat in the sense that they're triple champs. But this could have been a situation where, and this has happened many times, Tony had a plan, and whatever his plan was, something happened. I don't think they were supposed to be feuding with the Young Bucks, but just as an example, if that were the case and the Young Bucks were suspended indefinitely and no one knows when they're going to be back, then he holds off on FTR. Maybe FTR was going to feud with the House of Black and Malachi is gone and uh, Buddy is gone and it's in a holding pattern. I, I don't know, but like this happens before. It would be easy if like they told us, which I don't think he wants to do. Well, you know, whatever, but... I think that's the issue with them. Not that he doesn't know what to do with them. And the other issue is everybody wants to see him fight for the tag titles, and clearly he doesn't want to unify the titles. So he's got to take them off TV or something like that. None of this stuff is perfect. I'm not arguing that any of these things are better than what, or that any idea is, is worse than what they're doing or whatever. But there's usually a reason for this sort of thing outside of like, well, you know, he doesn't like him or whatever. So what is the end game with Wardlow as TNT champion? The, the end game is probably that he holds the title for a long, long time. And when Tony's ready, which if you look at how fast they do anything, it's probably like a year from now. That's when they move him to his next step. Like, I'm not saying it's good. I, I Every time people go, what's one thing you would change about AEW? Well, one of the things is shit takes too long sometimes. Yeah. And in WWE with Vince, it happened too fast. In AEW, it takes fucking forever. And there should be like a middle ground, right? Yes. But that's what he does. And I, I don't want to be sitting here sounding like I'm defending it, but it's, I'm sure that's the case with Wardlow. He's not ready to elevate Wardlow to that position yet. So therefore, Wardlow just does whatever month after month after month because it takes so long to get to where he wants to go with the guy. I wish it would be sped up. It should be sped up. But he takes his time with stuff. This thing he's doing with Joe just feels like a placeholder because everybody's tired of seeing him do three-minute matches. I don't know. That's the way it feels to me. I don't know what the point of Ward Joe is. I thought they were going to have Wardlow feud with Joe, which I thought sounded awesome. Sure. 
Dude, maybe they'll get a tag title match at Battle of the Belts. It's next week. That's true. I mean, uh, whatever they're doing with Ward Joe, there's some plan. I don't know what it is right now, but it very well could be challenging at Battle of the Belts. Google Tiger Jackson wrestler, and then go into images, and then go into GIFs. (laughs) <laughs> he does all these spots where he spins on his head. I'm crying. And I'm supposed to be watching this stupid show, but I just keep watching Tiger Jackson spots on Google. I hereby induct him into the Matt Cleary Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you, Craig. That's two to that's two to zero or whatever. Aye. Okay. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.